What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we about to go over Madden 24 secret tips on the offense and on the defensive side of the ball. Now today I'm going to be breaking down how you can use the 4 and the 6 second rule to your advantage in Madden 24. So looking at the clock up top. The four second rule is more for the offensive side of the ball. If you pay attention to my opponent, the adjustments he is making on the play. If you can get the ball to the line of scrimmage and snapped in the first four second window, you are going to give your offense an advantage. Most of the time, players are going to be on the wrong person. That's going to put them out of position on the defensive side. Now, on the second hand, you have the six second rule. The six second rule is giving your opponent six seconds to make adjustments will put people out of position again on the defensive side. What I like to do is go to the line of scrimmage. I'm trying to read cover two, cover three, man coverage. In that time that I'm making my reads, the six seconds, my opponent is usually flipping through players or adjusting now when you make adjustments by me audibling to a different package once i get the information on what i think the play is that's going to put your opponent's prior adjustments if he puts the lineman into a bluff blitz or a spy that's one less person to help in the run game if he is taking a cornerback and manning him up with someone and you have identifier you can see that adjustment if you pay attention on the screen he is on the lineman right now back to his user once I switch the play I know that he touched that slot cornerback first so that lineman is either a spy or a bluff blitz that cornerback he manned him up with somebody on the outside of the field it leaves the inside wide open now, if you look at me on the defensive side, I use YY or, depending on your system, triangle, triangle. That is to do all your secondary and make adjustments. The left D-pad is to make all your lineman adjustments. The right D-pad is to make your linebacker adjustments. I stay on my user at the beginning of the play, and I might move to one person. I don't move to three or four people. So as you can see, my user is right there. The only difference between me and other people is they click on and go around between three and five players. Me, I move people closer to the box to put them in better position. As you can see, my opponent is touching players, showing blitz. He's not able to go out and manually move people into better positions so the RPO in the wide side of the field is wide open okay so if you come to the line of scrimmage in four seconds you can hike the ball and have a person who is not very good at the game out of position on the wrong user if you use the six second rule you can have somebody make adjustments they can put this person into a purple this person into a spy cross man this person once you switch and go to a different formation, that will put people either away from the play or out of position. As you can see, also signaling on the offensive side. Your quarterback moves his hands. If you pull the screen up, you can see the tight end sticks his arm out. That is a hack route. If you see a wide receiver sticks his hand out and point, that is a hot route. So right there, my opponent throws a corner route. Fourth and 15, I'm going to go ahead and put 20-yard blues, meaning I come to the line of scrimmage, I can stand on my user, YY triangle triangle, and make a Mabel on that right-hand side. I don't have to touch people because if he comes to the line of scrimmage, makes his first hot route, as you can see, tight end, pointing his hand, he's making adjustments. That guy over there, tapping his head, he's making adjustments. My defense is all set up. He throws it right into a 20-yard cloud adjustment right there, turnover on downs. We are up 14-0. to The four-second rule and the six-second rule. The four-second rule 
is going to help you on the offensive side. The six second rule is going to help you on the offensive side because prior adjustments from your opponent right here, you can see him touching people, showing blitz, bringing them down. I hike the ball within four seconds. He is caught on a different user that he was trying to bring down with the AI safety. We able to run in untouched for a touchdown. So his user runs right into blockers instead of him being able to bring him down closer into the box and then go back to his linebacker user position.